You know, when the pandemic first began, officials said the only way it was going to end was with an effective vaccine and new ways to treat it. And that's exactly what some researchers at Oregon State University have been working on. Joining us live to talk about their work combating COVID-19 is Elisar Barber, researcher and professor of biophysics and biochemistry at OSU. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Okay, so explain to us here, uh, who, who don't know too much about the, the ins and outs of the COVID vaccines and all this research, what exactly are you looking at right now? Okay, so to review what we've been hearing all this year is that coronaviruses are RNA viruses. That means that genetic material is, is an RNA. And so um, um, makes, uh, like for the human genomes, there are uh, uh, 25,000 proteins. For the SARS coronavirus, there are four proteins. One of these is the, is the S protein, and that's where all the work has been focused on to, to have uh, antibodies against. Another is the nucleocapsid protein, the protein N, and that's the protein that we are working on. So it's an alternative strategy to what's, what is now. Okay. And so you're working on these proteins, and what, what are some of the unique ways that this can help in the fight against COVID? Okay, so the, the nucleocapsid protein, its role is to uh, uh, stick to the RNA. So the RNA is what's so important about uh, reproducing more of that virus. So the, the, uh, the nucleocapsid sticks to the RNA, protects it. So if we can, if we, our work tries to understand how uh, this RNA and the nucleocapsid stick together and where they stick together, and uh, then, um, we can design drugs that would interfere with that sticking. So are, are these uh, drugs or... I'm sorry, go ahead. So, if, so if, if, if we interfere with how the RNA of the end protects the RNA, then the RNA can be cleaved, can be, can be cut into pieces, can, would not work, and then we don't have replication or transmission of the virus. So is that something that you would be trying to deliver to people when you talk about, you know, this could lead to drugs down the line? Are we talking a, a vaccine, something more on the preventative side, or would these potentially be new treatments once you test positive for COVID-19 so that you don't get us sick? Yeah, so this is the nice thing about this could be both because you can develop a drug that will interfere with that, with that sticking of the RNA after the invasion of the, of the virus, after the virus makes it into the cell. And you can also de develop vaccine that will interfere with that sticking before the virus makes it into the cell. So it has its potential for both. And the nice thing about focusing on the nucleocapsid is that nucleocapsid does not get mutated. So it doesn't change as much as the spike protein does. So all the, info, all the worries that we have now about variants that the, with the vaccine works against the variants is because we're focusing on the S protein. But when we start focusing on the N protein, the N protein does not vary as much. So then the vaccines that are developed would have a more lasting effect. The other, inter, the other important thing also is that would, we would not have the same immune reaction that some people have to, uh, to, 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 uh, in, their, in their fight for, um, against the, the spike antibody. So the spike antibody will, will create that huge immune response. For the N protein, we don't have that same problem. Okay, so then uh, do you think it's possible that we could see this sort of treatment very soon that, you know, stops COVID in its tracks? You know, we, we've uh, we've made such big strides uh, in a short time. I mean, I, uh, and with all with a lot of people working on this. So our lab, the the unique things about our lab is, is they, uh, we 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 have special skills in looking at proteins that are very flexible. That's the nucleocapsid means they don't have a very rigid structure. That that means it's like noodles in a pot. They don't they don't take a shape. And to uh, to design drugs against proteins, you know, you need to know their shape. But, and that's why it's been difficult to look at the nuclear capsid. But be, be, with the new technologies that we're developing, we can, we can look at proteins that do not have a lot of a, a sh a shape, and then we'd be able to design drugs for those. The timing, I mean, we have, we've, we're, working, we're working hard on this. We're one of the very few labs in the world that actually attacking the nuclear capsid RNA interaction using nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy. That's the technique I'm talking about. And so we hope that we would be, we would be delivering, uh, I wouldn't say very soon, but we, we did not know last year that we would be at this position. So the, we've, uh, with, 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 with not just my lab, other people working on this, we may, we may get there. 
Yeah, it is fascinating research. And, and when you think about certain diseases being studied for decades, it's pretty incredible that we already have a vaccine out to people right now and we're working mm -hmm. on new ways to treat COVID-19. Uh, Elisar Barber, thank you so much for joining us from Oregon State University.